Oh, the drudgery. I'll never do that again, but welcome back to Dredge. It's been a little while, and uh, I'm going to have to probably stagger this a little bit, because uh, I'm not going to have like a full two hours to play the game like I usually like to. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, yeah, I'm excited to continue this. So, let me check my pursuits. Catch a snake mackerel. Apparently that dude disappears. So that's not good. Like the samples. Oh, that's where we were, okay. If I remember the controls, every game I'm playing at the moment has different controls for the map. Ugh. So, alright, it's fine. I just need to get used to it. Okay, so, um... Oh, now I can catch every fish, that's right. That is the new thing. catch fish, like, really fast now, too. A lot of good, um, a lot of good releases. I've been playing, um, so there's this, there's Crab Champions. I'm not kidding, by the way, Crab Champions is actually good. If you haven't watched my video on it, I was actually really surprised at how good it was. Research parts. But let me check here. Um, do I need new lights? I think I'm at maximum lights for the time being. For the time being, there's still still more lights that I could get. Like, I could add more light slots. I keep trying to press select to get the map, like Resident Evil Remake. Oh, I forgot how fast my, my ship is now, too, which is great. I believe it's southwest. Yep. This makes me want more, like, cosmic horror movies focused around this kind of thing. I know there's the, the lighthouse kind of functions in that way. Still haven't seen the Nick Cage movie, The Color Out in Space, Out of Space. It didn't, um, for some reason, it just didn't, like, I, tr I started it, and it didn't stick. It didn't stick. I don't know. And I don't know if there are other movies like this. Like, nautical Lovecraftian cosmic horror movie kind of things. Couple uh, monkey fellas there. And uh, making noises and stuff. Right.
So a couple of fish on the way just to sell, I guess. Creepy ass looking fish. God, I love the color palette. Here, you can take this crap. And... <clears throat> storage. A good way to mark locations is with uh, crab pots, I've read. Just because they can stay on the map. Even after they're done, you can see them on the map. I guess we can... Get that. An additional light space. Um... Why not? That'll help, even if it's just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to try to avoid the um, Sarlacc monster uh, asshole tentacles. And the way to do that is we're going to use... Alright, that still doesn't work right. Um, we're going to go to the research area. And use that machine. Nailfish. Giant amphipod. Ooh, new uh, relic. Got those already. Fuck. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I know I need something else, I just don't know what it is. I felt a vibration. And it wasn't a good one. Maybe I have to do this at night. So, oh, right, 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 okay. The lanternfish, I saw those. Alright. Uh, I think I can put this in storage. I wonder if the anglerfish are only at night. Probably not. Never mind night fishing. We don't need to do that right now. Just for some reason, the words Costa Concordia just came to mind. Isn't that the cruise ship that was it, internet historian or? Someone made a video about where the, the fucking captain was like a jagoff. And he did like jagoff things and ended up crashing the ship. Sometimes captain's got to do a jagoff thing. What can, what can you do? place. Sell these fish first and then I'll head over to the research lab. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need here. I think this is the last quest. I still need to return the shark to the pedestal, but... Oh yeah, these fish are rotting. That probably doesn't help, right? Good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news. The bad news is that the samples you retrieved from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. Good news is I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. It all points to one thing. That thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively 
or with intent. I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings. Immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. How rude of me. You've done all this for me and I've not got much to say thank you with. Maybe you should have this. The book? Something I wrote during my studies. Think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for the help. Read that. What is it? You walk in and place the jewel-encrusted ring on a table by the Collector. His eyes widen. Oh, we're certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. Vanish. Fire off a blazing light that dispels and protects. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map. To the Twisted Pear. The Neil Breen Twisted Pear Island. If that hungry stranger is still here. Is this even where he was to begin with? I don't remember. Uh, I feel like something was here. I just don't know what. There's only one thing I would like in this game, which is an instant, like, turnaround button. Like, to not turn around, but to view what's behind you instantly. Like, um, maybe clicking in the right stick shows you what's behind you. Nothing to repair here. Okay, so we know that that's there. What the fuck is this? Plane? Dog tags. That seems like a quest thing.
Oh, fuck off. Fuck right off. I hate that thing so very much. Piranhas, maybe? No, catfish, perhaps? Yeah. Eh. Good prices. Damn, really good prices. Wake up! Sure is yellow. want to do a quick look of the um, the whole island seems seems okay gray mullet boy Joe dirt got old Sergeant fish. What's that cool noise? All right, peace out. A lot of these sergeant fish. I wonder if they have any uh, private fish under their command. Don't laugh. That was pathetic. Campsite. Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A pile of fabric is gathered at the base of a large tree nearby. Rotten fish hang from the spit. The fire below had been prepared. Someone must have left in a hurry. Let's inspect the fish. Rotten fish hang. Alright, um, check the bundle. Nest of rags lie at the base of the tree. Somebody slept here. The rags are covered in bark chips. There are symbols carved into the tree trunk above. Three distinct symbols. First, it's a book symbol, then an upward hour arrow. And then a cloud. Five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of a person is lying down in the center. Book symbol sits above a wave. Downwards arrow points from the book down through the wave. 
That's going to be important later. Ah, damn. Damn it. Wait, isn't that the Half-Life 2 noise when you hit, like, a tree or wood or something? Please tell me that's the shadow of a tree or something. Ah. Mortar barrel. Mushrooms you got there. I feel like at any moment, that yellow thing is gonna, like, rise up from the murky depths. Reminds me of the trash compactor thing from Star Wars. Being here at night seems like a ton of fun. I have some ideas on what to do with that.
I need an explosive. Okay. Oh, this this is fucked up. Move those. This place is, is awful. <laughs> Sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A parasite burrows into a large snake-like carcass. It feeds, growing fat and multiplying. Tendrils spout from the head of the body to sense and sense the water around it. The host corpse shudders reluctantly with a cry that resounds through the forest. It rises once again. So this place is fucking dangerous. I did the crab deposit. I know I did the curved fish deposit, but I'm not sure about crabs. Maybe. I don't remember. I think I probably would have remembered the item I got from it. If so. There's got to be another spot inside this area that has uh, a quest or explains what the fuck is going on here. Though there is something to discovering this and having no idea what you're looking at and what you're supposed to do that is kind of nice in a way.
wreckage of an old fighter uh, the wreckage of an old fighter plane lies buried deep in the sand you pull a little closer well, maybe these um dog tags are not specifically a quest item after all Blistered tarpon, scales given way to bubbling flesh, a surface dweller sing singled out and cleansed by the sun. Explosives would open a really, really nice shortcut over here, so I'm, I'm going to see if um, the merchant sells them. Got a lot of good things on sale, stranger. Oh, I'll buy it at a high price. Plans for the future. 15% uh, chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. I mean, there are fish in Resident Evil 4 Remake and Re Resident Evil 4 Regular. Island. Where the fuck am I going? It's so dark and foggy, I can't see. Full. Four new cargo spaces would be great. Technically don't need more rods, but this is the only way to get a new hull. I need one more bolt of cloth and I can... Um, then I can upgrade that. Got an explosive.
in a new light too, which I can't. Wow, three thousand. Uh, yeah, I can't do that one yet because that one is um for a different boat. Go around this way. Make sure I even have... Okay, I got the explosive. Uh, yeah, if I need to unlock a shortcut, now I can do so. There's one. It's not quite a shortcut. That, that just leads to, I think... Some, uh, rare stuff. Goliath. I think that counts as a rare fish. It's, that might be part of my rare fish quests. Goliath Tigerfish location to Traveling Merchant. Oh, there's also that waterfall cave that I found. Which I'm now realizing I can catch those fish. Too far. About those rare fish. There we go. Um, there you go. Oh, and I get these too. I guess we can ask the merchant. About, uh, what can you tell me about the Twisted Strand? Not much, to be honest. I've gone inside just once. I sailed into that lagoon behind us and saw I could go left, right, or straight ahead. Mm. Something about this place seemed off. Through the fog, it looked like the trees were moving. I can't explain it, but I turned around and sailed right back out. Sometimes use this spot to rest up for a few days. The sunrise... Sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do any regular business here, of course. Horseshoe crab. Use another explosive. Hmm. Nope, no more explosives.
Jesus. Large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. Stranger, from that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. Been trying to rid them of this accur from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys called them mind suckers. On account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I'd ask for your safe passage away from here, but not until after I've avenged my squadron. What happened? A number of us went down in that fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here, under the boughs of this great tree. But it offered us scant protection. Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends of, and the forest. I met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. You any different? I can help. I figured you'd be up for it. You have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find lost pieces of my squadron's mortar, and we'll use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are. I'll mark possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. How will you honor your squad mates? I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seems fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand, I'd never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. Take this in good faith. Well, got a couple things here. I don't think that counts. But I'll bring it out just in case. I found parts of the mortar. I found one component. It's still missing a piece. Nearly there. Keep looking. And some tags. Hmm. Alright, thank you. I'll hang them on the tree here as promised. I found that other plane. It, I don't know if it had a... a part. I mean, I just got the one. Maybe there was another part I didn't, you know, pick up. That's always possible. I think there it is. Yeah, that seems like it. Mortar frame. really use those bolts of cloth right about now, too.
There it is. Saw a stone glowing red somewhere near here, too. Man flees through the trees, bloodshot eyes wide with terror. He runs into a dead end, cornered by the murky waters, and his pursuer, he turns. Wooden spear flies and finds its mark. Finds its mark. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> I guess one easy way to do this would be to just warp back. Harpon lost to the birds. You know, I realize I'm not even heading in the right direction, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm here. Let's sell some crap. Ah, oh, I'll buy it at a high price, stranger. Still no bolts of bolts of cloth that I can see. Uh, I haven't quite found what I've looked for. How can you be so sure? The last time you thought you knew, look what happened. Cool and normal. Ah, uh, 
guess we can research an engine. I gotta research this one first. I forgot about that. Two, three, and one, two, three, four. So this is fifty two. So this is Yeah, that'll work. This one is um, 26, and these are, yeah, so I just buy another one of these. A little expensive, but makes go fast. And I guess I have the money for them, so I may as well, right? some explosives. Damn, that speed is wonderful. Something seems off. The hooded figure is slumped, long robes billowing violently. You watch from a distance for some time, but see no movement. You turn around and leave quietly. Uh. Yeah. It was timed. Poor bastard. Got quite a ways to travel. Unfortunately, this is going to uh, end up being a little bit anticlimactic because I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm just, you know, record again tomorrow, but I'm, I'm going to have to go and I'm going to have to add another part to this, but that will be probably in about 10 minutes or so. But yeah, it's all good because I could just record more tomorrow and add it on to this. I didn't just use the warp. Holy shit.
I think that whale just proved sometimes it's okay not to use your warp. And you never know what you might see on your journey. Point taken. Thank you, Will. cargo. I'm happy that didn't, um, the, the damaged hull didn't destroy the explosive. I found the parts. Alright, now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. Just need to lure them in there. Once they're in there, I can fire on them with our new mortar. Hmm. I understand. Three special baits. Okay, three different fish. Come back when you've got the fish. smart way to incorporate the game's mechanics. Hang on, one second, sorry. So, yes, unlocking more shortcuts would be nice, and uh, just doing a bunch of different fishing expeditions would be good. I have at least a little bit of time to do that and get started on this. Good memory.
Bolts of cloth, perhaps? Yep. Desperately needed these. Fancy boot. Um. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to grab the boot. No, I'll have to leave the boot there. I hope this dude doesn't mind some rotten fish. Nice. Okay, new hull has 15 new cargo spots. But... As you can see, this is going to take forever. However, it will clean up my storage. Okay, that's done. Actually, not too far off. Just a couple more things and then the money, of course. Yeah, this fish are going to be a little rotten. I forgot to repair for the cargo slot, too. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, what am I doing here? Uh, at least I can... Do that. Load this into a trap and we'll clear it. Uh, let's just go bait for the second one. Can't do that one yet. And bait for the last one is eels. I do have a dog tag for you. Hmm. That's all of them. So... Eels and a catfish and the small fish.
Oh, this thing already made me... ...slightly mad. Like the Queen song. No, we don't need that. Do it. Yeah, fuck you. Pretty fucking impressive device, I will say, and it's massive. the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. It's convenient. need a catfish now. Uh, I can do that and then I'll save. I think now, now is the time I must leave. But, like I said, you won't really have to worry because not that you're worried, but, you know, you won't have to wait. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I'm just gonna add another part onto this. Because this game for me is like this is good for, like, three-hour sessions, and I don't feel... Some games, I'm just like, okay, I'm good. I'm ready. After, like, an hour, two hours. And then there's some games that just... compel me to continue, and this is one of them. the explosives too if I need to unlock more shortcuts. I'm gonna put one explosive in storage for later. Cause I might I don't know, I might not need that. Hmm. Alright. So that's dredge for now. And more dredge in a bit. And back with more dredge. 
dulcet tones of the radio host has arrived. It is now tomorrow, and it is now time for crab. Kind of. Not really much to say. I mean, we're in the middle of a playthrough here, so... Right. Right, I still need... Scrap or refined metal and cloth. <clears throat> right. You. Oh, no, pick that shit up. Pick that shit up. There's better crab, like, right here. Many, many of you that have watched my, uh, material for years probably know I used to go crabbing. But if you didn't, I used to go with my father. Yes. And my cousin. Yes. And essentially, what we would do is go out on a little boat, a little rickety boat. And we would have, like, string? Like, yarn? You know, well, I mean, stronger than that. And, uh, we'd put raw chicken at the end of it. And what you do is you, you drop the, uh, the line down. I mean, you could do crab pots, too, which we also did, but... The more effective way was to, to put the, the chicken string into the water. And then the Creberto would... Eventually, they would just, like, go over to it. They would, like, clamp onto it. They would start eating it. And then you just... Pull the thing up. Love that so much. This dude was so angry at these motherfuckers, and I would be too. The mind fuckers. This texture here is a little bit stinky. I don't know how I feel about it. It kind of blends from a distance, but up close it looks almost a little, uh, too square, but I'm not an art director, and I'm not, um, a smart fella, it's a fart smeller, so I don't, I don't really have much else to say about it. Um, but crabbing was a lot of fun, even if it didn't seem that fun, you'd actually then scoop the crab up with a net while you were, um, you know, pulling the chicken up very slowly. So there's, like, a skill to it. <clears throat> I would not eat the crab, but, you know, they did. And, uh, <clears throat> that's my crabbing history. Do I have... Uh-oh, I got spitfish in the chain. Alright, let me explain. I... Okay, so, um... I have a de-esser, which removes the s sound a bit. And it's called spitfish. And I always thought it was a good one, and apparently when I was live the other night, people immediately noticed it sounded like shit. So I don't know if you heard... if you can tell the difference, but... I think I need a new de Because this microphone's a little more sensitive. Two S's. Perfect timing.
Wunderbar. Anyway, yeah, I mean, the fact that it's called Spitfish and I'm playing a game like this is just, like, coincidence and fortuitous, but not, you know, not intentional. But I, I like it. But yeah, I don't know, that's not a great DSer, so I'm taking suggestions for better DSers. That do not sound like raw assholes. Even so, as I've said plenty of times, I've just been lazy. I haven't really, um... ...customized my setup <clears throat> for this microphone, for this headset, just yet. It's a good microphone. I noticed some people have said it sounds better, it has a little bit more depth, which I think it does. <clears throat> but at the same time... ...there's, um... ...you know, maybe a little bit too much in the 3K region. And my, uh, my mixer does not, my physical mixer doesn't cover a lot of that stuff. What I mean by that is it's just a three channel mixer. High, low, mid, that's it. So I can't really, uh, get in there and customize it. Uh, some of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Some of you do. But I'm also trying to, XSplit has a way to load VSTs. It just doesn't doesn't accept my limiter. Um, <clears throat> it's some of the VSTs I use, it doesn't... doesn't accept. I also have a downward expander, which it cuts off some of my... like... T's... and some other stuff. It's good at getting rid of background noise, but maybe a little too good at it. And, uh, I don't think it's the best program. So I'm gonna need to find a new... A new and more efficient and better sounding way to cut this microphone's background noise without losing quality. And I've already had some recommendations from some, uh, very smart people, actually, that, that know way more about audio than I do. I'm just so happy these these headphones are so comfortable. And they just... They're, they work. Another one taken care of. One remains by my count. Let's finish this. He bends down, plunges his knife in, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace, glistening in gore. Well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? A melancholic look comes over his face, and now... Well, that's it, I suppose. What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. Doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Hmm. Huh. I mean, sure. Toss bait overboard to attract local species. That's it here for now. The collector wants this. 
Ah, an excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. I don't know why he became the merchant. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. Huh. Devil's spine. Uh oh. A minute. A minute. Oh, a minute. I don't even really use a lot of this stuff. I'm not really using the nets and all that stuff, that wackiness. That's every power. I've unlocked every power. I guess the, the very end is, is um, just end game. I mean, part of me feels like I could finish this today, just because I'm enjoying it so much. We'll see. There's other stuff, too. Like, there's some stones. Maybe I won't finish it today. Maybe I'll get close, but not quite. I wish there was an easier way to just... Oh, you can just take all. I'm done. Wow. The fish were floating. I really showed them. these, like, the floating merchant, I think, has, um, the metal required. Required. I want to go down to, um, Gale Cliffs. Because... Uh... Because there's a thing over there. There's a fish. That person shall just forever be dead there. And it's my fault because I didn't get him the proper fish. But yeah, there's a rare spe species of fish that um, I was unable to acquire. in a cave. Keep forgetting about that fella.
Okay, let's see if I can remember where this thing was. There's a waterfall. There it is. I think it's an abysmal fish. Oh, I think, uh, coelacanth? Yep. Wow. It takes up a lot of spots. Or fish. <laughs> Either or. Maybe Gray Leno should hire me as a writer. Crab. Yes, crab. I shall retrieve the crab. So I went to um, a place that does, you know, like breakfast sandwiches and uh, just bagel, regular sandwich, everything. I was over there and um, I was like, yeah, can I get a grilled ham and cheese? As, you know, something simple today. And, uh, a cup of coffee, a large cup of coffee. Uh, $13. And it wasn't an astounding grilled cheese, mind you. It was pretty mediocre. Even one thing, if it was like some kind of rare cheese. Or, you know, the ham was of the highest quality. But it was, like, the most mediocre grilled cheese I've ever had, and it cost that much. Mental. Absolutely mental. Found the ore fish. There we go. Take that. Gulper eels, deepest, deepest depths imaginable. Oh, I think I know where those eels are. Mm. Yes, you sell metal. It's kind of expensive. Damn, actually it's quite expensive. Oof. All right. Fifteen hundred for that. I realized something. I don't have my, uh... Oh, wait, yes, I do. I have one here. We'll do some catching. I want to do the crab shrine.
We'll just, uh, we'll just wait for Crab. Uh, I'm pretty sure I explored this area, like, thoroughly. Wow. Pretty, pretty sure this species just no longer exists after that. Crab has been discovered. I mean, this is always useful to find. I also have to grab my coffee because, um, you know, that was a $13 coffee when combined with a grilled cheese, so I should- I should get that. I don't have it near me at the moment. Cool- cool fucking prices that most people can barely afford. Truly wonderful times. Truly wonderful. Oh, there you are. There you are, motherfucker. Oh. The old mayor. Did you- did you throw it back? What? The book! Ooh. You've mistaken me for someone else. Not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks of the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book. Something, something cloaked in fog, followed it out right through the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands, still take talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath. That we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore. A hymn, still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried. As the fog rolled ashore, we thought, surely, it can still be undone. Silver and crimson. The book covered in her blood. You're not making sense. Throw it back! The old man closes his eyes tight. As he holds back tears, his voice falls to a whisper. Please... The lighthouse keeper, she saw, she knows where it came from, where it needs to go. This is, that's my mayor. Well, the plot thickens. Plot thickens. Whoa. That's that scared that scared me. That actually scared me, and I didn't grab them because I thought something was happening. 
I, I actually thought something was happening, and it turns out it was just the camera being wacky. I just slept, and I'm already, like... You know... Losing my mind? Damn it. And I used my spell, too. I could have had a nice rotting fish in my inventory. Oh, these fellas don't sell for a whole lot. Yeah, I'm not finishing this today. Hmm. Even if I could, I think... I just want to, like, do some of the side quest stuff. Ooh. And I want to upgrade my boat, and then we can talk about... I think I'll save the, the Devil's Spire for the next video. Where was that? Oh. We need smaller crab. Rogue Tornadoes. Rock crab. 
crab. Okay, smaller crab. Gnashing perch, eyeless and mindless, driven only by the desire to consume, a purpose satiated many times over. Spell recharges very quickly. Controller is rumbling every time I hear that. Like, I know what it is, that it's still... still a little... off-putting. One could say. be enough for my new boat. So take a good look at this one, because it's going to look real different in just a bit. Hmm. Tier 4 hull upgrade. Well, it's not real different, but it's different enough, and it looks awesome, and the amount of space I have now is just... Phenomenal. And... It can hold... Can't afford it yet, but I can get one of those, um... Fancy lights. Soon enough. Engines would be a nice upgrade as well, because we're going to eventually want to get those um, insane engines. Cargo spaces. It's only four more. I mean, this was the huge upgrade for cargo, so I'm, I'm good on cargo for a while, but... It's weird, because even though I probably don't need to do a full upgrade of this to finish the game, something is compelling me to do exactly that. Efficient boat. I just also love the, the, like, flat textures and low poly stuff. With good lighting. To me, that that's extremely aesthetically pleasing. Three crabs shudder, legs clicking into strange angles. Though long dead, some unseen power commands their corpses into action. The crabs scuttle over the altar. 
Disappearing into cracks in the stone, suddenly rock splits in two, revealing a sunken chamber at its core. Rocks- mouth of the deep- Okay. It's an eldritch... crab pot mouth that looks like a barnacle- the barnacle arm from Half-Life. Opposing force. Can't even afford the repair. Yeah, that's repaired. That's- that lasts for ten days. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the other place where I think there's a- that eel. The legendary eel. That I have not yet caught or seen. And on the way, there's some islands that I might not have fully explored. Another dude in a robe. Red snapper. Well, I suppose I should do this. At the very least, just to see what you get for it. Fangtooth. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to be somewhere around here. <laughs> Fangtooth, not cost. Not caught, it's at the Stellar Basin. Not cost. Very nice. Um... 
Right, well, we're going that way anyway, so... Soul. So they're deep. There we go. All right, stranger, I've got what you need. Ooh, cursed fang tooth. Okay, they bring the small fish up to their mouth and bite where the heart is. The cracked lip, cracked, li cracked lips, cracked lips part to reveal a row of sharpened teeth. And a blue crab. Um. Simply a blue crab. Pretty sure I got the rock crab before. Might have caught a blue crab at some point. Stellar Basin. That's, that kind of seems like that would be it. There are none crabs here. Okay, now there's few. Plenty. this later. I read this later. Wow. Good. Good tense. Uh, before. We read this before.
Let's go see if we've caught some crab. I mean, it's no chicken at the edge of a string. On the end of a string, but it's close. Like, sometimes they would, like, swim, too. I didn't know crabs could, like, kind of swim to the surface. I'm a little dumb, but I didn't know, and they did. That yellow cloaked figure doesn't die before I can bring him his fish. his crab, rather. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hey, new light. Time to waste. James Bond, no time to waste. octopus. Damn, dude. Uh, not the stuff I need. Oh, here's the shark one. Yep. Still don't have that specific shark. That's the last island. A 
fucking holy grail. really hope that crab pot that's a very interesting rock I don't know why that rock looks like that uh, see I'm now suspicious of rocks this is a new thing ghost shark Something got infected. I've inspect the last symbol more closely. Oh. the footprints. Someone was barefoot. Yeah, that hooded figure is, is fucking dead. Died of hunger. Ah, oh, shit. Dredge blue crab location. Yeah, no, I don't, uh, no specifics. I, it just seems like this would be the area for it, but... Plenty of crabs here, so I'm just gonna... We're just gonna speed crab. I said I was gonna get my coffee like 45 minutes ago and I didn't. Uh, so that's cool.
Alright, I'm actually going to get my coffee now. And the coffee is slightly burnt. I can taste it more now that it's not so hot. Cool. That, um, I ended up clicking a link in regards to trying to find the blue crab, and uh, it's nerdstash.com, right? And I scroll all the way down. Heartbreaking details about PewDiePie's wife. These are awful ways to die. Here's what science says is worst. These Twitch streamers are stunning without makeup. Um... The offensive Bioshock Infinite scene that aged poorly. Yeah, outrage clicks. Oh, and uh, yeah, Stephen Hawking's startling end-of-the-world prediction. And here's the one that caught my attention. The truly tragic details we now know about Mr. Beast. And the picture that they have is just hilarious. See, I'm gonna click it. Um, let's see. He has sometimes suffered the, the cruel sting of bad luck. And other times, he's been the victim of his own success. He narrowly avoided a potentially fatal car crash. That sucks. But I'd argue also that anyone that drives on the highway is at every moment avoiding some kind of, like, car death because of how fucking crazy people can drive and how dangerous that just that whole thing is. These hulking metal beasts that we just drive and take for granted every day. He philanthropizes more than he earns on his videos. Oh, he's got Crohn's disease. Stu from King Gizzard has that. He can mitigate the stomach pain with heavily regulated, unfortunately repetitive diet. He can't do much about the fatigue. While his friends get to dine on fine pizzas in chow mein, he has to make do with homemade PB and J. <laughs> it's just weird, that sentence. Okay. Everyone thinks Mr. Beast missed the point of Squid Game, except for its creator. Okay, I've had enough of this. I have not been on an article journey in actual years. Like, I, I do not, like, even go to... I, I mean, I always have ad block on, but I don't want to give people, like, I just gave whoever some money by, by reading that shit. Oh, there's a blue crab. Um... Let's see if this dude is dead. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really hate outrage clicks. And I would argue that a good chunk of this is offensive and here's why. Yes, people find things distasteful. I understand that. And there's p different things have aged poorly. I agree with that too. And that's fair. However, the intentions of a website such as that you know what the intention is. It has nothing to do with altruism and uh, making sure people are sensitive to these topics that might upset someone else. Fuck no. And then that, in part, makes other people like enraged about stuff that maybe they never would have even cared about and just gone on living their life because life is short, and, you know, sometimes it's best to just focus on what you can control in your own life. Not saying it's not a, a, a decent idea to try to call out stuff that makes you upset, but maybe not in the way that, you know, ah. internet makes you feel like you can, you know, do that. And it just ends up becoming, like, the cycle of negativity, and then Instead of changing, people just get more spiteful. But anyway, that's... We're just playing a Eldritch fishing game. And uh, I don't really love talking about these topics because, like I said, I'd rather focus on what I can affect in my life on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and try to bring a little happiness to other people and myself because streaming and making videos in a weird way is like a form of therapy for me, too. And um, I just try to do my best and figure things out as I go. And also... 
Uh, Mr. Beast suffers a tragic life. What can I say? But yeah, that's the, the outrage click stuff. That is one of the most infuriating things about internet. It's like, it's one thing people, like, um, mobbing together on social media over something that they're upset about. Which is also a pain in the ass. If, um, done in the wrong way. But it's another thing when a website making money off of your clicks is trying to start outrage. Oh, that is, that is just the worst. That is just awful. Fuck those people. They take a book from inside their robe and hand it to you. Answer given, we await summons. Cross their arms and fall into a deep sleep. So I missed a book before. And I will say, I didn't know he had Crohn's, but I, Crohn's sucks, um, from what I've read about it. And yes, Stu from King Gizzard has it, and the dude is still doing shows like a motherfucker. And keeping up this insane schedule. And I have nothing but the utmost respect for him, because he is... Like, he, when they do a show, they put on a show. And he's gotta do singing, he's gotta do, you know, the frontman thing. He's playing guitar all night, he's going mental on the guitar, and he... You know, didn't even want people to know he had it. Like, he wasn't in it for the sympathy points, he just wanted to... I think he had to cancel a couple shows or something, and he was like, well, I didn't want to tell you guys this, but, uh, I have this thing I have to deal with, and I respect that, even though I think it would have been fine to know. But, yeah, that, that's gotta suck. So, yes, okay, I don't really have much of an opinion on Mr. Beast, because I don't think I've ever watched more than three minutes of his stuff, and I know his burger is terrible. I will say that the, um, him trying to do good things for clicks and YouTube views. I've seen people shit on him for that, saying, well, he's take you know, he's, um, exploiting people, uh, so he can get YouTube views. You know what? I would rather him try to do good things and spend his money to help people, even if it is for YouTube views. Preferably, you want people to be as Christ-like as possible. I understand that. We're all supposed to be Christ. I understand. But at the same time, if the dude is gonna help people, that's so much better than the, um, just a prank bro YouTubers that we had a couple years ago. I would take that over that anytime, or like NFT slinging lads, or Crypto Luigi trying to sell you land on Atlas Earth. Like, I don't know what he's in it for. I know his burger sucks. Um, I don't know- I don't really know much about the guy other than what I just read. And, uh, I'm not really qualified to have much of an opinion. But, if his videos are going to transition to, I helped this person, um, you know, by paying their medical bills. Okay. I'll take that over Jake Paul goes to Suicide Forest. Or Logan Paul, or whatever. I don't know which one, like... It would be... a nice trend to see actual, like... you know, YouTube... people... try to follow that, and do good things... to get views. I think... I'm sure there's plenty of criticism for that, too, and people would say, well, no, it's still exploitative. <sighs> there's a... an old Hollywood adage of, like, celebrities donating to charity and being public about it. If you didn't tell people you donated, you didn't donate. As far as the public is concerned. And it sucks to think like that. But I understand it. Back when shit was getting, um... kind of gross, I... I've donated... ...to a couple places that I felt were, like, helping people. Like, actually helping people and not just taking the money. And, um... I, I didn't really advertise it. And I think... ...you know, some of the donations I've done... ...are not huge in the past. And some people are aware of, some aren't. And that's my choice. I don't need the brownie points. People are gonna view me however they want. But I, at the same time... Not helping people... 
versus helping people and then, you know, talking about it. To me, I'd rather see people... Sure, if they're gonna help people and talk about it for attention, at least someone's being helped. It sucks that this is the kind of currency of society, but it, it just feels that that's, that's, that's who we are at the moment. So, uh, I don't really hate Logan Paul, or, wait, no, I hate him, I think. I don't know who, is that the sui- I don't even know which one did the suicide forest. <laughs> I don't know any of these people, I'm sorry, but I, um, I don't know Mr. Beast. But, um, I don't know if his life is, like... It's just, he's a big YouTuber, so they're gonna make a clickbait article about him. But again, uh, I don't know how this got so off the rails. It's just something I noticed while I was getting my coffee. And I was like... Oh. Please, do tell the tragedy. Need one more for the big upgrade. Alright, I'm gonna spend a couple minutes just looking for this eel. I would imagine I have to activate the thing again. Well, thanks for coming to my rant. And, uh... You know, I... I the reason I don't like to necessarily talk about uh, real-world happenings is because, again, there's really not much I can do, you know, on a, on a personal level, I have my opinions. Sometimes I don't, because I just don't, I don't know what knowing about it is going to do in my life, aside from give me anxiety and make me angry at other people. And like I said, I feel life is a little short and a little bit you know, precious to be wasted on... ...on staying mad. Oh. Well, that's the... that's the thing I needed. So, yeah, um... And again... I think pretty much everywhere else... ...you're gonna get some someone's opinions on on thing and that's fine if that's what you want you'll you know where to get it but if you're here your family no if you're here you're probably just looking to watch me play some games make some stupid voices you know just to have a little time away from it all maybe at least that's what i want when i watch the stuff i watch mm. Coelacanth is, is last. Okay. Uh... Well, we can get the engine. I need some scrap before I can... Like... trick out the engines further, but I could, I could get this. This has got 67.2. I don't think I can do twin j uh, jet drive as well as that. I don't, uh, doesn't seem to be enough room for that. Once I get the other upgrade, and I can get some more um, jet drives there, it'll be real fast. Yeah. yeah, the jet drive engines. So, do one, one, two, one, two, okay.
All right. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching this. I hope you had a moment of uh, enjoyment here or there. This game is just... It scratches an itch I kind of didn't know I had. And I really like playing it, so we're going to go to Devil's uh, Cock or whatever it is later ah. in the game. The Devil's Ham Bone. So, yeah. Uh, more dredge whenever I can make it happen. Looks like we're getting kind of close to the end. At least that's what it seems like. Got one rare fish to go. We've got, I think, one relic. Um... There's probably, yeah, there's a couple... I'm sure Devil Spire will have plenty of stuff that I haven't done yet. And, uh, yeah, great game. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I don't know how this became about Mr. Beast. Well, I do, but it got weird. Um, because I was... <laughs> I was clicking on fucking clickbait. God. Let's, let's not go down that rabbit hole again, shall we? Alright, good night, everyone. Or goodbye, good day. Uh, whatever it may be for you. And, uh, appreciate you watching, as always. We will dredge again.